Just a side of makeshift diving platform standing 27 meter tall beside a round pool of water is enough to give viewers goosebumps. Imagine athletes performing a death defying plunge, doing somersault and twists before hitting the water feet first. The high diving competition are being held at Chosun University soccer field, where the platform and a temporary water tank, 15 meters in diameter and 6 meters in depth, have been set up. 39 divers from 18 countries are competing, with men diving from a height of 27 meters and women from 20 meters. Each diver performs four rounds and get a total score for all four performances. At every round, seven judges will score the diver's grace and technique in his or her takeoff, flight, and entry. Due to the high risk involved, there are fewer than 100 high divers registered with FINA. South Korea has none. There are also no divers from Asia represented at the Gwangju Games. The sport's fairly short history also attracted global attention since it debuted as a competitive sport in 2013 at the FINA World Championship in Barcelona. It will be the first time athletes have competed for a FINA title globally and the very first in its part of the world. The United States is currently the leading country in the sports, having received three gold medals in the past championships, followed by Britain and Australia earning one gold medal. Two gold medals are up for grabs in Gwangju this year, one for men and other for women. Jong Min Kim, GFN News. Today was the most successful day for the host nation in the pool so far. Two South Korean swimmers reached the semi finals of their respective races in the FINA World Aquatics Championships. Lee Ju Ho qualified for the semi finals in the men's 200 meter backstroke becoming the third swimmer from the host city to reach the stage in this competition. He clocked 1 minute 57.80 to finish in 12th place in the heat, with the top 16 moving on to the semis scheduled for 9.35 tonight. Baek soo qualified for the semi-finals in the women's 200m breaststroke, finishing in 16th place. The semi-finals will begin at 9.21 tonight. However, Cho Song Jae finished 30th in the men's 200 m breaststroke hit, while Jung Seo Hoon also didn't make the cut in the women's 100 m freestyle hit, finishing 35th out of 93. In the women's 4x200 m freestyle relay, South Korea finished 12th in the hit, earning a spot in the 2020 Tokyo Olympics in the process. Kim Jin Rao, Jeff News.